I prefer to be asleep and dream because my dreams are infinitely more interesting than my real life. Sometimes it is a nice dream, a dream with what my mind thinks is a healthy friend group in which I live a life I want to live in. A dream that I forget upon minutes after waking up. But for those few minutes in which I have a complete recollection of my dreams, I feel as if my heart is choking me to death. As I realize these things could have been mine. Following this wave of coming to terms that it was all a dream is a tsunami of depressive thoughts and feelings that just hurt. This is the conclusion I've come to after once again falling into the habit of having a nocturnal schedule. Even after weeks of working hard and achieving a reasonable schedule, the big sad hit. All progress seemingly becomes irrelevant. Although, I can typically trace the origin of my dreams to the events or thing that my consciousness uses to weave my dreams. And for ones about friendship or camaraderie, my mind tends to pluck out one game in particular. Just setting up my room to play Final Fantasy XV was a big thing. I had a small 22 inch monitor that I usually played games on, but my old, way bigger TV, some 55 inches, was also an option. Unfortunately, it had around half a second of input lag for some reason, making games like Call of Duty unplayable. But Final Fantasy was different. I could barely notice the lag on the big TV. This made playing Final Fantasy a more theatrical experience. At least more than playing any of the other games on my smaller monitor. This TV was mainly used for watching movies, and the fact that my room was so small forced my entire periphery to be consumed by the screen. Terrible for eyesight, probably, but incredible for immersion. In Final Fantasy XV, we play as Noctis and his friends, Gladius, Ignis, and Prompto, as they try to help the Princess Lunafreya. Or is it that they're trying to make it back to the city of Insomnia? Or is it avenging his father, Regis? See, the thing is, I know that Noctis is a prince and that he is the chosen one and there's this imperial army and monsters and magic and chocobos. But what my mind puts emphasis on is the way that Noctis interacts with his companions in the world around him. But why is that? I remember after a certain point unlocking this ability which gave you points for simply driving around for a while. And since the gas is incredibly cheap in this game, I decided one playing session to not fast travel anywhere and to only drive manually to the places I had to go. At the time, I didn't know that auto drive also gave you this XP, but never mind that. I was driving around when I decided to make things a little bit more theatrical. So I zoomed out the camera all the way out and picked up the camera a little bit up and just kept it there as Noctis and the gang continued their normal conversations and banter. The huge TV that captured my entire vision alongside the landscapes and the details of the game drove me into a trance-like state in which it wasn't that I felt like I was Noctis but felt like I was also there with them, quiet as my real-life counterpart usually is, simply writing and listening to my okay. friends. Oh, see, in that exact moment, my depression and loneliness managed to feel so connected to these characters. I felt so immersed that I let that feeling completely consume me and convinced myself that I too was a part of this group. No, don't get me wrong. I know it's a game. I know it's just pixels. But Final Fantasy XV brings to the surface an inner desire of mine to experience the simplicity that is driving with friends. The simplicity that is having a group. But more importantly, it reaches out to my shriveled up consciousness and will to live that yearns for such things. Even after encountering and fighting this behemoth of a monster, 
Prompto's after-battle banter brings back the feeling that these characters, despite facing immense challenges, joke about it afterwards. Yeah! I even amaze myself sometimes. Your ego is what amazes me. Frankly, I'm just amazed we actually made it. Impressive. That took everything we had. You should be proud you gave it your all. I've got nothing left. Like what friends do. At least they think. Even a simple game mechanic such as cooking tugs at these same strings. Throughout the game you can camp at certain spots and this is how you bank in the points you have earned throughout the time since your last rest. At these camps you can have Ignis prepare these dishes with the majority of new recipes being discovered by defeating certain enemies. After the battle Ignis will have a eureka moment and will tell Noctis that he has an idea for a recipe. The player can then choose to cook said recipe or any of the other countless recipes with each character having favorites which boosts the benefits that the character would normally receive from a meal since, you know, it is their favorite. After choosing, Ignis cooks it up at the campfire in which the food is rendered and it pans to this shot of your points being, you know, added up. But also, the gang can be seen simply hanging out, simply enjoying a meal, simply being with each other and enjoying the company. So my consciousness holds on to those feelings, no matter how ephemeral, and incorporates them into my dreams to try and appease what my soul cries for. Another aspect of Final Fantasy XV that brings out this feeling is fishing somehow. I don't really know how to explain it, but I spent an unusually long time fishing in this game. Probably hours, to be honest. And it's just this really cool thing. You can fish in a couple different spots and no two spots really have the same exact fish and you have a bunch of different bait that you can use and it's not really that complicated to fish but it might take you a couple tries just to get it and if you capture a really good fish everyone just surrounds you and congratulates you even though it's silent you know that they're congratulating you and it's acknowledging this accomplishment. Optional or not, Final Fantasy XV made me realize a couple things. One, hunting the chocobos is mad cheap, and probably the best way to get around. True, this took me a solid 15 hours into the game to realize, and I only did it because Ronto kept happening up so much. And two, that having a group of people in which one can confide in and enjoy being around through thick and thin is crucial for my mental health. But for now, both Final Fantasy XV and my dreams must be enough. Thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I'm sorry for my lack of uploading last week. Uh, my sleep schedule got all messed up, and my motivation just went into the gutter. But I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have ever felt like this with any game or show, let me know in the comments. And thank you for taking the time to check this out. I've had the idea of making this video for some time, and since I'm up all night now, I decided what better time to than the dead of night, right? Still figuring it out, the whole editing thing, and trying to find a groove to fit in. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, thank you for watching. The Prince of Pain. Never fear. Ponto's here. We're on the same page. Yeah.
Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> 